by this time, no breakfast yet. What are you still doing on the bed by this time? We may have cold. And so fucking what? And so what? So that's the reason why my breakfast wasn't served on that dining. I'm not feeling too well and I... Fix my breakfast! Right now! My love, your breakfast is something I do with delight. I just need you to understand that I'm not feeling too well now. Please. If you're not feeling too well, get yourself drugs. Why are you lying there doing nothing? I am going to the bedroom right now. By the time I come out here, I do not want to see you on this bed. Else, I am going to speak to you with a language you understand. Why is it taking you so much time to fix my meal? Oh, I'm almost done. It just shan't be ready. You're almost done. Don't waste my time. You're not. fast, please. I'm late. So I'm a liar. No, no, I am blind. I didn't see you. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm fucking you too. Okay. You want to inflict me with your disease? No. You don't have a ticket. You don't have to go room. No, I'm very, very sure that your mother did a bad job. I'm telling you. What is this? Sweetie, I am sorry. Please just eat your food. Now, what is this now? Eh? Today I decided I would not talk. You're making me to talk right now. Yes. You know what?
Pachuca. I'm fine, bro. How are you doing? Yes, that's her name. What? She did what? All right, all right. Please, um, I'll call you back, okay? Yes, no, 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 don't worry. my orders, huh? She will feel my rat. Yes, she will feel my rat. Applying for a job. On whose consent? On whose consent? Alright, you fucking leave the road, bro. For God's sake, what did I do to this woman now? Huh? She will feel it. Yes, she must. job at Casey Holmes. If you make me repeat myself again, I'm going to give you a slap that you will regret all your life. Did you apply for a job at Casey Holmes? Baby, I'm sorry, I, I was... <coughs> you silly! Hey, hey. I want you to answer me yes or no. Did you apply for a job at Casey Holmes? Yes, I, I did. I did. I'm to sorry. hell with you. Felicia, to hell with you! How many times have I told you not to work for anybody? My goodness, what kind of English do you want me to speak to you so you can understand? Sweetheart, what is this? <laughs> All these days I was working before we got married. What is wrong if I start working now? I just want to help. You want to help? Did I ask you for help? What? How dare you flaunt my orders? How dare you? <laughs> now listen to me carefully. The next time you flaunt my orders in this house, you will have yourself to blame. And I'm telling you because I am going to skin you alive. Felicia, I will skin you alive. You will remain a housewife. And a housewife you shall remain. And that is final! Please. Don't you ever. I don't feel like a prisoner. Please just. <laughs> Yeah, Chuka. Yeah, I called again, yeah. See, listen to me carefully. I want you to strike off my wife's name among the applicants. Yes, 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 yes. Cancel her name among the applicants, all right? Yeah, I, I have another job for her. Thank I said cancel it. Thank you.
Alicia! My love, I am so sorry I was in the restroom. Are you mad? Why would it take eternity for you to open my door? I'm sorry, I didn't even know you... Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Do you know how long I've been here knocking? Do you? I am sorry. He said shut up. Stop talking! It irritates me! Huh? I know what to do. Next time I will lock my house and take the keys with me. Get out! I was thinking, since you don't want me to work, can you at least give me some money to start up a business? Baby, I truly wish to work. I want to do something. I am sick and tired of staying at home without doing anything. I just want to help. Staying at home not doing anything, it's, it's draining, it's frustrating. I'm tired. It's not like I don't want you to come over, but I... Okay, fine. When do you want to come? Tomorrow? Don't you go to work anymore? What's the meaning of this? I'll call you back. Felicia. My love. What are you doing? I'm cooking, my love. You are cooking? You are cooking and also answering call. Have you gone nuts? What is wrong with you? Have you seen anyone cooking and answering calls at the same time? Huh? I'm sorry. Hey, shut up. Shut up and listen to me. This is why you cook nonsense and bring to me every now and then. Were you trained? No, I can see you weren't trained at all. You should know the etiquette of cooking. Make sure this food is nice. If not, I will skin you. Nonsense. This form, I'll keep it for now. Food is ready. Baby, your food is served. I heard you the first time. I am not deaf. Huh? Okay. So, can I have my phone back now? Can you what? Can I take back my phone? Thank you. 
Take it and leave here now. Thank you. Make sure it doesn't disturb you. I'll make sure of that. Felicia! Felicia! I'm coming! Get yourself here! Now! You called me. What is this? It's food. You idiot! Idiot! That's what you are! You call this food! No! You call this crap food? Felicia, of what use are you in this house if you cannot prepare the simplest meal for your husband? For your husband! See, so the next time I see you with food in that kitchen, hmm, I am going to skin you alive. I will skin you alive. Nonsense. Get your meal. You're not good at anything in this house. A simple task of cooking for your husband. You cannot. Hey, hey. The next time you're going to cook this nonsense for me, I will chop off your head. Nonsense. Jacob! Hey, hey. Open the gate. What did I do to deserve this? How did everything I do suddenly turn to a crime? How did we get to this place? If my food is not salty, then there is no salt in it. If you didn't complain that my food has too much oil, then there is no oil in it. I made a nice meal for you and if this is what I get, just, just look at my body. Just look at me. It's well. I need you to taste this food and tell me exactly what is wrong with it. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma Hi, madam. The drop fast here is very, very sweet. Hi. So you like it? See, madam, I do not like it. I love it with all my heart. Yes. Enjoy your meal, I'll get you more. Like, are you trying to tell me that if you catch your woman on top of a man, red handed, that you will not beat her mercilessly? Would beating her make her undo what she has done? Divorce her if you can't forgive her. Uh, no, 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 I have a problem with your submission, seriously. A man that cannot beat a woman is a simp. Total simp. <laughs> you are wrong. You are wrong. If you are the type of man that beats women, then you need to stop. Because it's ungentlemanly and brutish. <laughs> Enough of this, your grammar. Please, save that crap. <laughs> save it. John, 
I don't subscribe to this your position. But I'm telling you the truth. For you to answer a real man, you need to beat a woman. Bring her to her toes so she can respect you. But because tomorrow, tomorrow she might ride you. Ride on you, I'm telling you. So you need to start showing her that there's a difference between a man and a woman. John. No, no, no. I give up. I give up on you, John. What? I don't know. That's my submission. What are you doing here by this time? Come inside the room, I want to sleep. Good night. What do you mean, good night? Come inside the room. Come inside the room and do what? If I'm not in the mood to have sex tonight. Well, you can call it anything you want to call it. But I believe I have the right to have or make love with you anytime, any day. I am not just in the mood to make love to you. Are you seeing anyone? No, are you seeing anyone apart from me? What are you talking about? I'm not in the mood to have sex. I'm tired. I just need to rest. Tired doing what exactly? See, I'm putting it to you. This is a standing order. All right? Anytime I want you, I'll have you. When I came to marry you, your parents didn't tell me that there are timetables I should follow before making love with you. What are you talking about? Get up! I'm tired. I'm not in the mood. I'm just tired. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I don't want to get this on you right now. I don't want to get this on you. If you know what is good for you, get up and meet me in the run. Okay, you want us to do it, bye. Is that what you want? Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up to the room! I will have you whenever I want to have you anytime! <laughs> you just have to get your own. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> I have, I have what it takes to carry you. You know, I right? I will, baby. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My waist. Can I rest? My waist. I've Look. been playing with you for long. Are you serious right now? Yes, now. It's my turn for you to carry me. Eh? Yes, now. Wait. Wait, 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 baby, wait. Come here. Yeah. Right. What are you doing? Come on. All right. Now. All right. All right. All right. Push. Push. I'm done. <laughs> you know I love this song, right? I
Felicia! Felicia! Yes, my love. Come here. Why did you serve me overnight bread? Honey, I got it last night because I knew. It is overnight bread now? Uh -uh, am I lying? Why did you serve me overnight bread? You know I don't eat overnight bread, right? I knew you would need it this morning. That was why I got it. Why are you always getting me upset every time? Every early morning that I will pray to God, I want to go to work, you must upset me with something. I am what sorry. have I done to you? I am sorry, my love. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. Okay. Sit down. Sit! I'm really sorry, baby. Forgive me. It's... Start eating, eat it, eat it, put it in your mouth. Eat it, eat it, eat it! Since you've decided to frustrate me in this house, I will frustrate you! Yes, I will! Are you, are you? Come on, eat it! Eat! Have it, you can have this. Have it, take it, take it, take it. Drink! Are you wasting time? Mm -mm. Want me to give it to you? Mm -mm. Take another bread. Mm? Reach for another one! You think I'm joking here? Have it. Have it. Take it. Take it. It. Nonsense. Next time you learn not to give me an overnight bread again. Eat it! Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. treats me with so much hatred. Why does he hate me so much? doesn't he want you to work? I wish I knew. He kept on saying he doesn't want me to work for no man. But I'm certain that is not the reason. There is more to this whole thing because that can possibly be his reasons. Okay. So, are you going to give up your career as a data analyst? Rosalind, I don't know what to do. I have no idea. Felicia, don't let him do this to you. <sighs> For crying out loud, you're a master's degree holder. Felicia, you just want to end up as a full-time housewife, just like that. For real. What am I supposed to do? Oh, Jesus. Pick up a fight with him or what? <sighs> Welcome there. Good afternoon. 
to see him in my room. Now. I did that already, sir. What is she doing in my house? That's Rosalind, my friend. And so? Nothing, she just came to see me. You're crazy! How many times have I warned you that I do not want to see any of your friend or your family in my house again? Go back there and tell her to leave my house at once. If I come out and see her, I will speak to you with a language you best understand. Get out! Get out! You're not saying anything. What's the problem? Your husband doesn't like me. No. Come on, it's not about you. He said he doesn't want us having any visitors. Why? I wish I knew. Oh gosh. There she goes again. What kind of a man are you even married to? Look, he said he doesn't want us having visitors for now. That's how he put it, for now. Okay. So what about your family members? Can they visit? Felicia. Oh, Jesus. Your friends and your family can't visit you. Seriously. Oh. You know what, Rosalind? Let's just drop this. No. Okay. No. You need help. Ah. Ken, my guy. <laughs> Man, how far now? I'm fine, I'm good. So what about that business we discuss about? I told you now, I'm the master of the game. We're just 70 to 80 percent down. Wow, wow. I'm telling you. That's a big one. You know, I told you I can handle it. That means if this thing click now, <laughs> that's a super hooch. What are you talking about? I mean, it's been a long time we hanged out, Seth. What do you think? So, like, we club tonight, right? You know. You know. I trust your move. Tonight, right? I trust your move. I mean, they run like I tell you. I trust you. You get, Nabo don't want to finish me for this house. No, 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 no. You know, fit now. So we just go there and hang out. You have full of fun. You have full of fun. You know, right? But I just wish this business, eh? I just hope thing. It's a done deal, my brother. Huh? We'll do good. Go and relax. I'll yeah. handle it. I'll handle it.
I want us to have a talk. Go ahead. Why do you treat me like a slave in our house? John, I'm your wife, not your slave. You hate me at every slightest provocation. Why? You said my friends and family are not welcome here. But you? Your friends, they trip into this home anytime they like. John, is this fair? Think about it. I'm a human. This is not right. When you're done blabbing, get out. Is that all you have? Yes. Get out. Get out. Get out. Silly thing. Yacht. A powerful yacht. <laughs> well, I don't know. But I'm not surprised. He's taken a rich. Oh, I saw the pictures on his Instagram page. Well, I don't follow him. So, I... <laughs> but it's a good thing he actually did that. Uh, uh, by the way, why don't you get your wife a proper shop since she's interested in business? How do you know my wife is interested in business? She posted online on Facebook this morning. Online? What? Please, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later, okay? What's the matter? No, no, no. Better. John! What is the meaning of what you posted on Facebook? Oh, ma'am, please don't be angry. Eh? I decided to become an online vendor since you don't want me to work. You know, that way I can get busy. Those things I posted, everything is in my sister's so, shop. Hey, hey, hey. So, because I allowed you to use phone, you feel you can do anything with it? No, no. I just want to get busy, that's all. I don't want to leave the house, but I just want to get busy. Give me your phone. Which phone? Give me, come on, give me the phone. Give it to me. Give it to me. John, come on now. That is my phone. Do you want to destroy my phone? What? Are you crazy? Now listen to me. I do not want you to walk with anybody. I don't want you to do any form of business online. Stay home and do whatever you need to do to take care of my home. And that is why you are here in the first place. Do I make myself clear? Don't you dare ever in your life hit me again.
God, Madam. Ash. Are you okay? Ah, Madam, I was driving Benz in my dream. Ah, I see this Benz. Well, welcome back to the real life. Nabiko, give me your phone. Eh? It's not my scene. I want to use the make call. My own is bad. Want to make call? Yes. That one is no problem now, Madam. Thank you. No, just help me. How do you bring out the contacts? Uh, Madam, if, if you press here, here you will see all the, okay. all the numbers uh, now. Thank you. Lisa, um, are you at the shop now? <sighs> My dear, I don't think I would continue with that online business. Yes, I just have to look for something else I'll do. You want to come to my place? I thought we've thought about this before. Benita, you can't come here. He doesn't want anyone to visit me. I just don't want any trouble. No, you don't understand. You. Hello? Hello? Benita, hello? Did she hang up on me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Um, hi, John. It's me, um, Benita. Benita's sister. Okay. Um, how are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I've been trying to reach Felicia. In fact, I want to come to the house, but she said... No visitor is allowed in my house. If there's anything so important you want to discuss with her, say it over the phone. Hello, John. In-law. I don't think I have the right number. You said nobody should come to the house, like her family members shouldn't come and visit her. Why? That, that is tyranny. It's not, it's not done. Why would you say such a thing? Wait, you want to tell me how to run my own family? No, you want to teach me how to run my own family? Don't do that. Excuse me. Hello? This is serious. I got you a new phone. So were you able to fix your other phone? No. Thank you. Yeah, that reminds me. Your sister called me. How come you gave out my number without my consent? My love, my love, my sister, she has always had your number, all along. Your sister, I'd always have my number. Hey, hey, hey. Are you mad? Are you stupid? How dare you give up my number without my consent? You call mad. The next time I see you give my number to anybody, oh, random people, I am going to kill you. I will kill you. What kind of a woman are you?
Don't try that again. Hey, God. You're not tired. I'm tired. I am so tired. This is not what I fucking do. This is not marriage. This is not marriage. I hate this. It feels like hell. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to act Let my foot! Yes. <laughs> Look at what you did to my face. You did this to my face simply because my sister called you. I've been thinking, I don't understand that. What is wrong if your sister-in-law has your number? Why would you do this to me because my own sister called you on the phone? I am just going to make this very clear to you. The next time you hit me, that will be the end of this marriage. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Do you want your other eye to get swollen too? You need to be very careful. The next time you hit me, John, I will leave this marriage and never come back. Get out! Get out! Can you imagine? The gods walking up to me to warn me in my own house! You must be very stupid. the one because of the sunglasses oh well i decided to look different today see um what's that on your face it's nothing <laughs> just um a minor okay, injury let me see system. let me see it's bad i don't want to take off my glasses it's fine felicia hmm? i'm a woman are you trying to protect him or what? I'm only trying to protect my marriage. He beats you, right? Just confirm it. He beats you. Yes, it does. Why? Why? What exactly are you still doing in the marriage? What do you want me to do? No, tell me, what do you want me to do? Walk out of my marriage? You of all people should know that I love my husband. Okay. What, what kind of stupid love are you talking about? That's the fact. It's true. It feels like I can live without him. I took a vow, remember? To stick with him for better or for worse, till death do us part. And that is what I'm going to do. Felicia, until he beats you to death. God right? forbid. God forbid it when you do something. A man beats you and you're still staying with him. What are you even saying? God. 
you will not understand. I'm the one married here. It's not easy. You can't just wake up and take your things and leave your marriage. It doesn't work like that. What you're asking me to do is something that I can never do. It's something I find so difficult to do and I am not doing it. <laughs> What's up, babe? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm very good. I'm sweet. Yeah. Cut the call! Did you see the time? Did you see the time that after six? How many times will I tell you that I do not want you to answer any call beyond this time? What? I can't remember having such conversation with you. When, when did we discuss that? Keep up, damn you! If you don't know, right? I am telling you now. This is my rule, and you must obey. I do not want you to answer any call. I don't want to know whoever the call is coming from beyond 6 p.m. Don't do that in my house. You hear me? You said this one. I will never abide by it. You cannot treat me like a slave in my own house and expect me to abide by your, by your draconian rules. I will not do it. I will not do it. Are you raising your voice at me? You are raising your voice at me! Count yourself lucky. I would not lay my hands on you. What am I talking about? Where's your phone? Which phone? Where is your phone? Hand it over to me. Right now! Give it to me. Give it to me. Now listen to me. I am the man of this house and my wealth stands. Henceforth, you will no longer have access to this phone. You will stop using phone in my house until I say otherwise. Now you've grown wings. You're talking back at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see you. I will kill you in this house. I will kill you. But one more time, front my orders. Hmm. Felicia, you are married. You have a husband. You are really living in this hell called marriage. I hope you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> I am really married. <laughs> Why does he keep tormenting me like this? Why? I can't take this anymore. I can't... I can't take this anymore, God. You know that I can't keep up with this. really happened. 
You know, I've been waiting for the right time to do this. And I realize there's no better time than now. Hmm? This is the heart of the city. So I decided to bring you here because here my heart lies. Do you come here often? Oh yes, I come here often. Trust me, this is a very beautiful sight. That's why I brought you here. Look at the sky. So cloudy. So beautiful. Just look. That bed! Did you see that? Seems like it's going to rain. Yes. But I think... My love rains, baby. Baby. Would you marry me? Okay, I get it. This is the reason you brought me here. Yes. And more. <laughs> you just said it's gonna rain. So let the rain of love start from here. Will you marry me, my love? Yes. I can't wait to wear that ring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes! Yes! This is so beautiful. I know. <laughs> I know. Hold on first. Hold on first. Who are you and who are you looking for? I'm your madam sister. Tell her I'm in. Okay, okay. See, uh, I'm not going to open this gate for you. Call her so that she can give me permission to open gates. I've been calling her for the past two days, but she's not picking up. I think her phone, her phone is off or something. Keep on trying until she picks. My friend, open this gate. Uh, uh -huh. Go and tell her that I'm here. Uh -huh, okay. Who's that? Now, one woman knows, she said she'll be mother and sister. Hey, hey in-law, good morning. Benita, how are you? I'm fine. What are you doing in my house? I want to see my sister, but your getman will let me in. Is he new or something? I, I've been trying to call her for the past two days, but she's not picking up. I was talking to her two nights ago, and suddenly the phone went off. Uh, I tried calling her back, but I got no response. Is hello, she okay? hello. As you can see, your sister is fine. Where she, is she is doing great, all right? Just leave. I want to see her. I said, leave my house. Jeku, close the gate. Indo, I don't understand. Why can't I close the gate? Okay. Close the gate. Open the big gate. Yes. Okay, Jeku, make sure she does not have the access to come into this compound. If I'm leaving, she tries to come in. Jeku, bye, Thank you, sir.
Jacob. Please come with your phone. Do you have a time? Yes, I have. Please let me use a minute. Okay. Hello, sis. Yeah, it's me, it's Felicia. Felicia, how are you? I'm okay. How about you? What is going on with you? Felicia, I've been trying to call your line for days now. You're not picking up. What did you say happened to your phone? What is wrong? Everything is fine. I just decided to switch off my phone for some personal reasons. You know you're lying to me. I can tell when you're lying. What has your husband done to you? What is going on? I'm asking you. Tell me the truth. I told you. I'm fine. Okay? Just that I've been having this constant headache here and then. What did you say happened to your phone? I intentionally switched it off. I'm okay. I don't know what is going on, but I was at your house this morning and your husband wouldn't let me in. I don't understand why he reacted the way he did when I said I, in, when I, when I was insisted I want to see you. I was insisting I want to see you. He, he, he didn't let me in. What's going on? The Bible said in Proverbs 21 verse 1 that the heart of a king is in the Lord's hand. Like the rivers of water, he can turn it wherever he wishes. I am tired. I am frustrated. I feel like giving up. I am begging you, please, destroy every demon that has possessed him because my husband was never like this. Jim was never like this. He used to be a sweet, calm man. All of a sudden, this demon came and took over his life. He doesn't even see me anymore. Set him free from this demonic past. Set him free and give us a happy home because I want to enjoy my marriage. You are crazy. You are mad. You're mentally unstable and you can know. You know that, right? So I am the one that have a wicked heart. Is that what I said? That's not what I said. No, I you're right. You, 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 you're lying. I, I, I was there. I had everything. I was talking to God. I was telling him that I want a better marriage, a good life with you. Like, you should bless our marriage. That was what I, that was what I said. I, I didn't call you a demon. I didn't, didn't mention any demon. I am the one possessed with demons. God forbid. You can't be possessed with demons now. Am I crazy? All right, all right, all right. Let me show you how a man possessed with demons. Yes, yeah, please. I do not know. You must. You must. You must. You 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 must. You You I remember the way we used to be Together as one Loving each other I remember the love you shown to me Where we used to be Loving each other But today Was my friend Kadifem Melo all because of love, that's why I'm suffering. All because of love, I'm a kid, I love all. 
all because of love. That's why I'm going through this, all because of love. Oh, how long will I be going through this? How long will this be happening? And this is not the love you promised me. Ooh, many ru or the rama, many azu or the rama. Way from Melo Balo, a tongue sin major balo. Do do do, because Kai Billy no do. Don't forget the days we used to be together, loving each other. Cherishing when I know all oh, because of love. That's why I'm a suffering. All oh, because of love. Oh, oh, because of love. Oh, because of love. That's why I'm going through this. All oh, because of love. All oh, because of love. That's why I'm a suffering. Alright, it's no problem. Yeah, I'll sit there. Hey, you. Felicia, why are you not prepared for church? Or do you need someone to remind you that today is Sunday? Am I not talking to you? I see you're looking at me, so you're not blind. My darling husband, there is no way in this world that I am going to go to church with this bruise on my face. Have you no conscience? What do I tell people that happened to my face? I should tell them that my husband uses me as a punching bag. Is that what you want me to tell them? Um. John. Did you just call me by my name? John? Since when? What happened to us? A question I keep asking myself, but I don't seem to have answered to that. Tell me, what is my mistake? Where did I go wrong? What happened to us? Whatever it is I did, just say it. I will apologize because I want a peaceful home. Tell me that which I did that made you hate me and treat me the way you treat me every single day. You know, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you are trying to do, but I will not give room to that. Today is Sunday. Okay, today is Sunday. When I come back from church, you are going to explain to me the reason why you decided to call me by my name, John. Don't worry. You know what? Let's end this. Let's end this marriage. What? I am tired. Let's end what? I go. I'm tired. Let's end this. No, what? Did you say? John, I'm tired. And what? I'm tired. I'm tired. And what? I'm tired. Now, let me tell you. If you leave this house, <laughs> if you leave this house, I'm going to find you anywhere and I'm going to kill you. I will kill you. You cannot run. We are stuck together. We are stuck together. Hear me? We are stuck together. If I decide I'm going to bring up a place to me, this woman will make me. Jebu! Jebu! Hey. 
Yes. Where are you? Okay, let's see me here, sir. Okay. Now listen to me. On no account must you allow my wife out of this compound. This is a standing order. Don't make myself clear. Okay, I promise you it will not happen. Yes, I promise. If you flaunt these orders, I will not only fire you, but I will lock you up and throw the keys into the ocean. Open the gates. Yes, sir. Tell me, say, make a little open this gate for you. So, as you, as you tell me, I say, make a come tell you because, see, you're a better person. Now, what do you think about that? I, I don't understand, Jacob. What are you saying? Oga oh, say, make a little open gate for you, but then I have to go. Jacob! Uh, Did John lock me in? Again. Are you going to say that you don't recognize me? Look at my face. It's okay, it's okay. Don't you recognize me? You started again. It's okay, it's okay. okay, we are here to see my daughter Felicia. Uh, Can you see her? Please, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to allow you inside this compound because mm -hmm. my Oga gave me better permission. I should not allow any single soul stepping in this compound. Mama, you see what I told you? It's okay. It's okay. Wait. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. Go in there and call Felicia, my daughter. Tell her I want to see her with my own eyes. Go. Madam, please. You know what you asked me to do is not possible. I cannot do it. What is not possible? 
What that, do you mean that, by that? That's what you're saying with your mouth. It's not possible. Yes. Okay. Don't, 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 don't pass your boundary. Go to a clothes according to your size. Hey, you're serious. Yes. You don't want to let us in. Yes. Okay, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by this? Let's see, my, 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 this is not, not a simple thing to do. I say make you call or girl or call my dad. Me they give me permission. Why don't you go and say her that her family is here to see her? Simple. Who, 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 who. Oh, you cannot do that. No, no. Go in and tell my daughter I want to see her. Finish her. Okay, 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 okay. I want to tell my daughter. Okay, come again, oh. Okay. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Good afternoon. There is nothing good about this afternoon. I want to see my daughter. Keta, Keta! What's the meaning of all this? What is the meaning of what? Didn't you hear what my mother said? We want to see Felicia. What is wrong with my sister? And John, I'm asking you, why are you keeping her away from hey. us? Why? We are not leaving this place today until we see her. Produce her for us. Well, I can confidently tell you that your sister is doing fine. We want to see her. She's okay. We want to see her. My daughter is doing fine. Oh, let me see her now. John, I'm not leaving this place until I see her. What is going on? What have you done to my daughter? I want to see her. Eh? Is that a big thing to her? she? Hey! I've told you that she's fine. She's Where doing is well. She? Where is this? Where is she? Is she inside? Huh? I just thought I don't want to think that she's inside. Otherwise, she would have had her. Come on, have you gone? Bring my sister. Right, from this I, I, I won't stay here bantering what you all. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Ken, come inside. Let's go. We don't care. What have you done to my daughter? Is there anything bad for me to see my daughter? Come and show me my daughter. I'm not living here. We'll die here. We are not going. Come and tell me. Wherever you go, oh, you are going. Okay, we will die here today. Papa, no, 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 no. Hey! Remember the way we used to be together as one, loving each other. I remember the love you shown to me where we used to be. I've asked you this question several. I'm still asking it. Why am I being locked down in this house like a prisoner? Tell me, why am I being locked down in my own husband's house like a prisoner? John, you've practically refused anyone from visiting me. You took my phone for days now. You have refused to give it to me. And now I'm being locked down in this house like a common prisoner. My husband, please tell me, what did I do? Why? Why am I being locked down? Are you dumb? Is there always something? You talk too much. Don't forget the days we used to be together, loving each other, cherishing one another. All because of love, that's why I'm a soft. I've been doing everything for you. I've given you all the style that you want. I've given you the scissor stick. I've given you missionary. I've given you the donkey. I've given you all up and down hanging. And yet, I have not seen you with a sign of pregnancy. What is going on? No, tell me what is going on because I need to know. I'm a man. I need a child. Don't tell me that you are not fertile. Huh? My love, 
He said, give me a chart. I will give you a chart. Kiss him up, Kiss him up, Babu Kwake. God punish you for saying that. Are you trying to tell me that I can't impregnate you? Is that what you're telling me? Huh? Nobody could not now who get all this wine and you're trying, you're telling me in my face that I cannot give you a child. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Say today, right now, all this is going to happen. Ah! John, what, what is ah! it? What, what is it? What is wrong with you? Ah! John, 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 ah! John, 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 John. What is wrong with you? Ah! John, 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 John. Get your head here. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me, what is wrong with you? John! 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 Jacko! Jacko! John, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? Stop! John! Jacko! Jacko! John, John, stay with me! John! 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 Jacko! Jacko! John! John, please stay with me, okay? Stay with me, don't, don't, don't go, don't go anywhere, okay? Stay with me, John! John! Jacko! Jacko! Ken. Ken. No, it's not John, it's Felicia. I am not fine. There is a problem. John collapsed at the sexy room. I rushed him to the hospital, but I'm yet to find out what is the problem. As I'm speaking to you right now, he's in the emergency room. Did you what? What baby drugs are you talking about? I am just hearing me for the first time. I have no idea. Jesus Christ. Tell me when exactly is my husband waking up? I can't tell for now, but he will wake up. I can't believe John is down with stroke. Doctor, please. You have to do everything within your power to make sure that, that he wakes up. We have to do everything to make sure he's fine. is not well. My husband is down with stroke. This life is just a misery. You mean your husband now bedridden? Almighty John. My husband is totally handicapped. Totally. Are you serious? You have no idea. Wait. You mean he can't make use of his hands and his legs? Wait. Like he can't do anything on his own. For real. My dear, that is a situation right now. Oh my God. This is so heart-wrenching. Felicia, what are you going to do now? 
Felicia, are you going to divorce him? Hell no, I will not do that. What are you saying? Why would I divorce him? This is the time he needs me more. Oh, really? After all he did to you? I'm sure you see, even you look at your face, you still have a scar there. In a way, I just feel like he deserves this. This is good for him. Serves him right. Almighty John. Thank you so much, Ken. God bless you. Uh, you're welcome. Now, is he going inside now? Um, no, he's going to be here for now. I will take him in myself. I will see you to the door.
Echi di me kwa lungwa na zo Onye ma ife oka mo Ngwa ne godinu wa ne mentu wa Are you still sleeping? Oh, dinner is ready. What's that smell? Baby, you pee on you. It's okay, let me get something and change you, okay? Stupid. What is the meaning of this nonsense? No, John, are you a child? Are you now a child that pee on the bed when he sleeps? What is this nonsense? You know what? You are stuck in this your urine. You will remain on this bed until you're ready to stand up yourself. Drink it if possible. Rubbish. Sorry, I didn't know what came over me. It's just that it's too heavy to be here. It's too heavy to be here, especially when I remember all the things he did to me. The treatment he gave to me. It drives me crazy. Just look at you. You're now at my mercy. It's so difficult to let go of the pains you've caused me. I just pray that I don't treat you the same way you treated me in the past. I'm sorry, I'm going to help you, right? sister i am glad that he is showing visible signs of improvement one reason i am smiling i am so happy the doctor said that his recovery is awesome mm. i am happy in other words you are really doing a great job i tell you what it is not easy considering how unfair he has been to me in this marriage the pain, the trauma, the agony I went through in his hands. You know, sometimes it crosses my mind to abandon him, but 
I just couldn't. Why couldn't you? Why? Probably the same reason I couldn't leave him when he was beating me. Says, you know that I love my husband deeply. Mm -hmm. But, Felicia, I must tell you, you took a very big risk. That was risky. I mean, what if he had killed you? I mean, one punch, you, you would just drop dead. Thank God I am still alive. Can we change this conversation? It's okay. always business. Um, business is fine. But thank God. When are you coming to patronize me again? Okay. Let me get done with this one I'm dealing with right mm. now. Mm. <laughs> I know. You have a big baby at hand. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm glad he's getting better. So glad. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, my love. Can you find a place in your heart to forgive me? Can you find a place in your heart to forgive me, baby? If I'm mellow, no mommy's equals up. Yet she didn't make one as. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Why are you eating like a toddler? You're messing the dining up and I just cleaned it. You know what? I'm sure you're not hungry. Obviously you're not and that's why you're messing the table up and playing with the food. I'm sure the ones on the table will be enough for you. Feed on those ones. Rubbish. No. No, no. Uh, no. 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 Well, I'm sure you've totally forgotten today is your birthday. I kept mute since morning because I was waiting to surprise you. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that smile. Babe, I can't remember the last time you smiled at me like this. You know, your smile was one of the things that got me attracted to you. I loved the way you smiled at me then. You were so nice to me. I was blown away by your charming personality. I... Let's not go there. Okay, take a look at your cake. I hope you like it. I like it. John, I, I gave you love. I gave you joy. I gave you peace. I prayed and waited for you to change. I did everything I can to make you see me as a wife. You chose to see me as a piece of trash. 
as your punching bag. As someone who, as someone who you just picked on the road and, and decide to feed. You made me question my entire existence. You even made me doubt if I'm a human being. You made me question if I am living with a human or a beast. It is self no celebration. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to celebrate in this filthy life of yours. Get up! Get up! To the room! Celebrating. Why am I even standing here with a cake saying happy birthday to you? No! You don't deserve it! You don't! me this isn't who I am. This is not who I am. This is not me. What is happening to me? God, please, I need your help. I, I really need your help. You know, I am so happy for you. The doctor said that your recovery is so tremendous. And at this time next month, you should be ready to compete with Usain Bolt because you will be completely fine by then. Usain Bolt? Yes. <laughs> Usain Bolt has stopped running, okay? And he's retired. Oh, uh, really? Well, that is the only male athlete I know his name. Oh, I see. <laughs> so what would you be having for lunch? Anything. Just anything. Okay. There is something I want to say. Go ahead. I just want to say that I am so sorry. I'm sorry for all the times I've been so cruel to you. The harsh words I said. I was carried away by the anger of the past. I messed up. I'm so sorry. I think I think we should visit a marriage counselor. I think there is something practically wrong with our marriage. And 
and we need to fix it. It gladdens my heart to see that the both of you are open and honest. But the truth be told, Mr. John, something must have triggered that action towards her. Did you do drugs in the past? No, not at all. Can you tell me all about your growing up? I mean, the kind of friends you grew up with? Well, I grew up with cool and calm people. Cool, level-headed ones. I never walked with rascals. Can you as well tell me what is it all about your family background? I mean, what kind of family were you born into? A peaceful and a very loving family? A troublesome and a male violent family? A broken home? Mr. John, I'm waiting for you. See, sir, this aspect of my life is something I do not want to share with anyone. Do not wish to talk about it, please. And what is this aspect of your life that you hardly want to talk about? Has the key to unlock a happy marriage for you? How would you feel? Up in a turbulent home. A home full of war. My mother was the breadwinner of my family. I watched her maltreat my father so much. My father was practically at her mercy. Sometimes she beats my father to the point of stripping him naked. Looking for the missing number, Pierre. Mm. This is six and this is eight. It's two. It's two, right? Mm. Very good. So the answer here will be two. Hmm? Mm. Then here now is one minus. Mommy! Oh my god. Hi. Hey, Where are you? Oh, please. Hope the food is ready for lunch. Not yet. I have been assisting John to do his best. What are you talking about? You put the food. The food is not ready. Lunch is not ready. I'll go out there to work, to feed you, to put food in the table. I'm trying to prepare lunch. You cannot do it. You said you were doing what? You said you were doing what? I said I was. You said you were doing what? I was. You're doing what? Huh? I'm going to do food just to prepare food. Hey, Nusha. I will handle your cocoa. Please, where's the money? Give me that 20,000 now. Eh? No, you are a very stupid man. You are, you are a very hopeless man. Am I the only one who will be providing? Eh? You want me to die before my time? It's just a war. What is your problem in this house? What kind of useless husband are you? Where is the stupid husband? Give me the money. The 20,000 that I demanded for. How am I going to get rid of this house? Eh? Please. You know I don't have that. Please, I'll kill you today. I will kill you today, please. I will kill you today. I will kill you today, please. You are very stupid. My mates, yeah. My mates are very stupid. Talking down. Talking down. My mates are very talking down. Eh? Please, what's your problem? You want me to die? You want me to die in this house? You want me to die in this house, please? Ah! This whole thing continued for so many years. 
my father became a drunk. <sighs> One day, I was in SS3. I came back home and I was told my father is dead. He was drunk. I was knocked down by a hit and run driver. I became so angry. I hated my mother for all she did to my father. I was just looking for opportunity to revenge. Unfortunately, she ran away, traveled to Italy. Is she still in Italy now? No. She died eight years ago. Using Mr. John, children from abused home oftentimes grow up becoming the greatest abusers of our time. What you did was to transfer the hatred you had for your mother to your beloved wife. And your experiences as a child did actually mess up your mind. But I tell you, by the time we're done with this section, you are going to be fine. Madam, you also needed psychotherapy. But I can assure you that by the time we're through with this section, you will overcome the punk of anger that has always come with the flashes of memories. I Thank don't. You so much, sir. You're welcome. I don't want to undermine the power of love. But oftentimes I tell parties that are involved in this when a party gets hit, leave that space. You both should be happy that none of you got killed in the process before you call for help. There's a saying that says that life is not bed of roses, it's where happiness is guaranteed all the time. But before I continue, first, let's share. Okay, lovely wife. <laughs> so, my dear friends. I came to realize that my own life is guaranteed because of my sweet wife. Coming today, uh, fourth marriage anniversary. Thank you all. You know, a lot has happened in this marriage. A lot of things have happened that have led to the destruction of this marriage. But God says no. You know, my wife here, I want to thank you especially for honoring me. I want to thank you for tolerating me and my excesses. Okay, and I'm openly saying that I'm sorry once again. So thank you, thank you for forgiving me. You're welcome. <laughs> and for you all too, that I've seen to have misbehaved. I say I'm sorry, sorry for my shortcomings. And thank you all for standing by us. Thank you all for standing by our marriage. For the difficult times, you guys have been here supporting us. So I say thank you all, and thanks for coming once more again. So right now, let's have a toast. We share, let's share, share. To longer activity of this marriage, prosperity, long life, and a happy fourth marriage anniversary. Amen. So I think it's time for us to cut this cake. So please, kindly, and call this. Okay. Um, do we have a name for the baby yet? Oh, yes, JC. Oh, lovely. Wow. <laughs> okay. On the last end, we'll cut the cake. So, we ready? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
J A S O I'm sorry. Yeti di me kwa lo, 